Hey guys, I hope you're going well. Today I'm going to show you how to properly pan in Logic because it turns out that using these pan knobs here is actually changing your sounds and uh, may actually be changing your song when you pan an instrument left or right a bit in the mixing phase uh, when you don't even realize that that's happening. So it's quite an issue with Logic and I'm going to explain the way around it and how to actually basically resolve it. So essentially all music these days is generally in stereo which means that there's a left and right speaker and different sound coming out of each of those speakers. So what Logic does is when you pan a sound it's actually a volume control for the left and right speaker. So if you pan something all the way to the left it means all all of what was coming out of that left hand speaker will be coming out and everything that was coming out of the right hand speaker will be completely muted and you won't hear any of it. Likewise, if you pan something all the way to the right in Logic, it means that whatever was coming out of the left speaker before is now not being heard. So to demonstrate this, I've got some different uh, tracks here with guitar and you can see that I've panned the third of the chord all the way to the right and the seventh of the chord all the way to the left. And I've sent these all to an aux track. And so what will happen is when I pan this aux track around, which is the collective sound of all these guitars, some of it being on the right and some on the left, you'll hear that notes of the chord just go missing. So you can hear that as I'm panning this aux track left and right, we're actually missing out notes of the chord uh, which we intended to be there. So this is what can happen in the mixing stage. Maybe you've got a sound from a synthesizer that has you know, slightly different things coming out of the left and right, and without realizing it, when you pan it to the left or the right, you're deleting information from the sound. So the way to actually properly pan without losing anything at all is to come to your channel strip and go down to Imaging and select the Direction Mixer plugin. So if we open this up and use this Direction knob here, we can pan it properly. And you can hear that all the original notes are present. So there you go, I hope this tutorial helped you out and helped clear up how panning works in Logic. Uh, if you did enjoy it, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm trying to make videos a lot more regularly, uh, so if you subscribe, you should see them coming out in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.